Hey guys, let me get something on my, alright. Hey guys, okay, the last video I done was about Reba and the Reba McIntyre story. I don't know why I acted like a surprise, like, this is the book I'm gonna, because I already showed it. This is the Duggars 20 and Counting book. Uh, yes, yes. Alright, this book, um, it's not as thick, <laughs> but it was, um, a good book to read. I read this book in like a week. Like, I finished it yesterday, and I read this book in like... A solid, one solid week, and I was like, but it was, it was really good, okay, so, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell two bad parts about the book, and two good parts about the book, the two bad parts, I'm just going to combine, is that Michelle and Jimba, you know how they're, like, you know, like, okay, when they were younger, they both kind of stole little items, not like, Roger Pink, but stole like little items like Michelle stole money and then Jim Bob stole some snacks from the uh, Piggly Wiggly store I think and so that's a bad thing I'm just gonna come on that's a bad thing and the second bad thing oh come on I know I remember this ooh ooh second bad thing is alright when Michelle's pregnant with John David and Jan and John David Michelle's pregnant with Jan and John David, and Josh was like a baby. They were living in the Carlisle house. Well, Jim Bob was working late that night, and a customer. Okay, a customer had come back. Again, shut this off if you want to read it. A customer had like came that morning and wanted to buy a car. But they didn't have the money, so they told Jim Bob, why well, come back and, you know, pay for the payment. So he come, they come back, and she's like, like we're only $200, we're only $100 short, we got the money. And Jim Bob's like, oh, great. But the couple actually robbed Jim Bob, took money, and he says, if we find any money, you're going to be sorry. And they tied Jim Bob up, put a thing in his mouth. It was just a dramatic scene. And they put a gun to his head. And Jim Bob's like, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. And so she, he says, I've got two kids. And he said, and then the people were like, that don't matter to me or something. And he's like, I have two kids or something. I, you, I have a good life. That didn't matter to me, so, yeah. Um, and two good things about it. One good thing was that I thought this was good because I could never do it. Another person t stole a car. Ooh, the people took the car. The one that robbed him and the one that tied him up, they took the car. Okay. This is first, the two good parts that I want to talk about today, too, is, first one is that Jim Bob, somebody else, drove away a car. Not the same people, but somebody else. And he went to the jail and gave him a Bible. Um, which I would never have the courage to do, but I think that was very nice and kind of him. And I don't think I've heard of nobody else doing that. Give somebody that robbed them and cost them, give them a Bible. And I guess they want to give them a Bible to learn about the Lord and to learn how to do better things and good things in life. Because the Duggars, the way they look at bad people is, like people in prison and jail, is that they're not bad people. They've just made a lot of bad choices. So that's, they just made some bad decisions. So that's, I think that was kind of, I thought that was kind of nice that Jim Bob done that. And then the second thing is, um, I thought this was really cute. It wasn't a good thing, but I thought it was really cute. Jill, when Jill was little, I don't know if you know what twin Jill is, but I'll point it out to you. Jill is, Jill, Jill. Jill is right there where I'm pointing right. Wait, 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 Jill, 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 Jill. Yep, yeah, that's Jill. That's a Jill Duggar. Okay. Jill, a minute. It shows her better. Wait, Jill. Come on, Jill. Oh, there he is. There's Jill again. Okay. So what Jill is, when Jill was little, she wanted a blanket like her sister Gina. But she can't have a blanket. <laughs> she can't have a blanket. She couldn't have a pink blanket like her sister. And she really wanted one. And they couldn't afford it right now because they were still living in the Carlisle house. And they were saving up for a bigger house. So that's what Jim Bob done. Or they were saving up for a bigger house. And so when Jim pulled another car onto the lot. This is like a coincidence. When Jim Bob pulled the car onto the lot. There was a pink blanket inside of it. And and she just, and Jill prayed for a blanket. And that was just like so good to her. Like that she got a blanket. Um, and these have some really cool pictures in them, like, this is Ja, Jim Bob, with, 
uh, Josh and the twins, John David and J Jan and John David. And then, and then that, that's a really cool picture. And then, and then this is the uh, newspaper article for the Arkansas robbery where Jim Bob was was up where he was like, you know. Yeah, and this is a really cute picture of Johanna and Michelle. I like this one. Mm -hmm. Trying to find good pictures in here. Uh, I'm trying to find. Ooh. Wait a minute. This is a really good picture. This is what we were like when they had like six kids. But they were still living in the Carla house when they had like seven or five, five or seven kids. So that must have been a huge, like, cramped house. And then now they've got this humongous house that they built. So here is the Duggar's Twin Counting book. And if you haven't read it, um, if you're a fan of the Duggars, like, like, I don't know, say this. If you're, like, against the Duggars because they have so many kids, don't read it. Um, I'm the type... I mean, I think I have my opinions of people, but I can also change those opinions. I'm a type of person that I can forgive and forget. I can change my opinion, can change of those people. If I hear something good about them, it can change. Um, and my opinion of them really did change for the better. Uh, I think they're really meant, they really love kids, children, and they're meant, and like their focus is on God, really, and they're meant to do that. And um, I'm not going to... I'm gonna tell, I don't want to tell something. Okay, well, they put it in the book, so I guess I can tell it. Is, um, and please do not comment back on this. Please do not comment back on this or give any rude comments about this. Okay, Michelle, when she, when they first got married, Michelle was on birth control. But then, okay, when she first she got off of birth control, she had Josh. And then, then after Josh was born, she got, she was on birth control, but she still got pregnant. And then she lost that baby in her second or third trimester. So then that, so, and the doctor told her that's what probably killed the baby was the birth control. So that's what they decided not to use birth control anymore. And please do not comment about that. I just wanted to tell that story. So this is my review of the Duggar book. And it's, if you're a fan, it's a good book for you to read if you're a fan of the Duggars. And if you've already read it, comment below and tell me what you thought about it. Peace. Boom, boom. Bye. Okay. Bye. Okay. First of all, one announcement. I'm going to post my Talking Tom video. Uh, I have a 20-second video that's going to go after this. Like a 20, a 10-second video. Uh, it's like Talking I made a Talking Tom. Okay. i got to put this book down. I made a Talking Tom app. And it's like... Talking Time. I don't know if you know what Talking Time app is, but I'll sh it'll show you guys after this video. And it's like it's not scary. It's a really cute like you know Alvin and the Chipmunk voice. It's like that, but it like makes your voice sound like it's coming out of like Alvin and the Chipmunk or something. And I'm doing a commercial about I love Oreos, and it has a little glass of milk like a little app thing. That we give it a glass of milk, and it, I just made it. And so I want to share it with you guys. So little peace out.